Oh, hi there. Well, this place looks busy. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho. We're in the salt mines we go. That did not make sense. Let's just pick up the box top and forget I ever tried, ever tried to sing that song. What's up? Excuse me, could you let me through? <laughs> Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. Can't talk now. Digging. Are these like seasoning containers that are working? You guys sure are working hard. Digging is very important. They're really organized and very How efficient. How long are you going to be working today? Until quitting time. Okay. When exactly is quitting time? Well, I'm not sure. The whistle blows and we stop. The whistle right here? How come you're doing all this digging and it keeps sitting at a desk all day? Well, I mean, whistle blows and it's time for them to leave. Let's blow the whistle. <laughs> Was it me? Quitting time! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, yeah, they just pulled a Fred Flintstone right there. All of them at the same time. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I, I like to think they all saw me pull it, and they know it's not actually quitting time, but they're like, let's just take this, <laughs> let's use this to our advantage, shall we? And they left their beach balls behind. They left their toothbrush behind. All right, well, they're out of our way now. Let's climb up the mountain. Hopefully they weren't destroying the structure of the mountain. Oh, hey, it's a fortune cookie. I'm Sam. I am called Syllabus the Sage. For reasons I cannot fathom. Fathom? I sit here atop Mount Wisdom and ponder the deeper mysteries of the universe. What are you pondering right now? I'm wondering how gravity works. I mean, I can see that it does work, but how? That's a heavy question. Very funny. Okay. <laughs> are you still thinking about gravity? Yes. Maybe there are great big magnets inside the Earth that make gravity work. Interesting, but... I doubt it. Alright, well, the funny thing is, we still don't really understand how gravity works, so it's a, it's a cool thing to ponder. Another box top. There's so much of our universe that we do not understand. It's it's it's, it's mind-boggling, honestly. Maybe gravity works the same way tape does. You know, stickiness. Hmm, possibly. But I'd like to entertain some alternate theories. Okay. Maybe gravity works like a vacuum cleaner, and the Earth just sucks stuff onto it. That's very intriguing, but I'm not sure. Maybe gravity works kind of like love. I hope not, because then I haven't got the slightest chance of understanding it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, that's really sad. Maybe gravity is like invisible rubber bands. Ah, oh, I like that. But I'll have to think on it some more. All right. Wow, that horn is really big. Yes, it's called the Horn of Celebration. I like to blow it when I find the answer to a question I ponder. What happens when you blow it? Try it and see. Okay. Wow, we can just do it. Sweet. <gasps> Fun. Not so loud next time. <laughs> oh, we, we gave it our all, apparently. I'm trying to decide which came first. The eggplant or the egg? Eggs don't grow on eggplant vines. Oh, never mind then. Eggplant came first. Read the, read the first two chapters of Genesis. Why are you wearing pajamas and a cape? Is that one of the deeper mysteries of the universe? No, I was just wondering. Oh, well, I'm Pajama Sam. I see. <laughs> a 
I'm trying to imagine and describe the perfect chair. What chair? Hmm. That's a good point. I never thought of that. This music is bopping. Like, I remember Pajama Sam Free having a great soundtrack, but I don't I didn't remember it being this good. How do you suppose they get the creamy filling inside of a Twinkie? I don't know how they get it in, but I know how to get it out. <laughs> wow. Why are you wearing pajamas and a cape? Hey, a gondola. <laughs> Wonder where it goes. He's forgotten already. It's like, why are you wearing pajamas and a cape? Oh look a gondola! I'm leaving. <laughs> Oh, hey, bro! You're one of the delegates. Hello! Howdy. You're wearing a straw hat. Are you one of the delegates to the peace conference? That's right. I'm Chuck Cheddar, Cheese of Adventure! I'm on my way to the conference, but my balloon got stuck here in this blasted cotton candy cloud. There didn't used to be so many of them around. I'm Pajama Sam. Can I give you a lift? I can't leave the balloon behind, but there is something you can do for me. But Jim and Sam always helps those in need. Well, that's me. You see, I need to add some weight to the balloon, so it'll be heavy enough to get unstuck and float down. Why don't I climb aboard? No, no. It's got to be just the right amount of weight, you see? Or I'll go down too fast and crash. Oh. Well, how much weight do you need? That's the problem. I'm not sure. I'll need 10 pounds of sand altogether. But there's already one sandbag hanging under the balloon, and I can't see how much weight is in it. Can you see it from there? No, but don't worry. I'll think of something. I know you a big one. But Jamie Sam always has great art style, and th this screen in particular is just gorgeous with the sunset and the clouds. It's great. Oh, whoops. I didn't want to go back to Fortune to fortune Cookie Man. No, no, no. Back in the back in the gondola. Um, I, pff, I also didn't want to go over here just yet, either. We'll get that later. I wanted to talk to him some more. How much weight did you say you need for the balloon again? Ten pounds altogether. But there's already some in the sandbag under the balloon. A also box, box top, top time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need you to help me. But box tops! <laughs> Man, we're already more than halfway through and we haven't even explored half the world. <laughs> Later, hot dog. Alright, well, we can't do anything to help the cheese yet. <laughs> Chuck Cheddar is also a great character. Alright, we're at this cool ski lodge. There are kind of like four different quadrants of this world, and we've only explored the first quadrant, which... Each quadrant kind of is... I'm not sure if each quadrant is supposed to be like centered around a given food group. It's more just food altogether. So the mountains here might... Maybe they're like ice cream or something? I'm not oh, sure. good. Another box top. All right. We're up to 12 now. We only have eight box tops left in the game, and we haven't even explored three of the quadrants. This is crazy. Skis and poles are self-service. Sweet. Oh, boy. I'm going to go skiing. Let's go, Sam. We're gonna ski like a pro! Geronimo! So this leads to a little ski minigame. Where we use the mouse to move back and forth. Uh, let's go to the left. Uh, let's. Oh, we're going left again. Woo! I like hitting all the bumps along the way. You don't have to. Woo! Let's go square. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> Dane. That was great. That's quite the fall. It's a good thing the workers were out of the way when that happened. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have crashed right into them. Holy cow! That is a tall jump. It's a good thing you landed into the snow. That otherwise that would have been disastrous. So that's a cool little snow area. Hmm. What a cool looking tree! I think there's ketchup growing on it, and some other stuff too. 
I don't think I can get over there. It looks like it's too far for me to swim. There's also a sign saying we should go this way. Looks like I'd have to get all wet to go that way. He ain't doing that. You don't want to get your pajamas wet. Well, we've got this donut here. Hey, a big donut! And it's a swing! Boom, it's like a tire swing, but it's Whee! better. Hi, I'm Sprinkle. Uh, hi, I'm Sam. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were... I mean, I should have asked. That's okay, I love to swing. What else would I be doing tied to a tree like this? That's a good point. <laughs> Nothing dark. <laughs> Let's go swinging again. What else do you like to do besides swing, Sprinkle? I used to like to swim quite a bit. Well, float, really. I'm a good floater. All right, can you float for me? Way to undo the knot, Sam. Whoop! Oh my! It's a good thing I can float. Say, the water is very nice today. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. Well, now we've got this donut in the water. <laughs> Sprinkle's a great character, too. Why don't you come in for a swim, Sam? The water's lovely. I don't want to get too wet before dinner, but maybe you could give me a ride. Sure, hop on. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice bumpy ride. Let's head on this way first off. Uh, hey there, Egg. Hello. Hello, French fry. I'm not a French fry. I'm Pajama Sam. Oh, so you are, Penny. Do you like french fries? I love french fries! Especially with teriyaki sauce! Mmm! <laughs> teriyaki sauce! That's the only way I'll eat them, actually, is with teriyaki sauce on them. Then there's no stopping me! I like mine with ketchup! Well, different strokes for different folks! <laughs> so we've got this dam of french fries blocking the path of the water. He, he could eat them, but they don't, they're just kind of bland by themselves. There's not even any salt on them, so, and they're soggy. Like, come on. I'm with the egg here. Teriyaki sauce is delicious. Here's another box. If you've never tried teriyaki sauce, you should. It's great. There are also multiple types. Most teriyaki sauce is sweet, but there's also, like, a tainy version, and the tainy version is heavy. <laughs> I wish I could understand that hilarious joke they just told. <laughs> Um, is the government spying on me and just took my photo? That's not cool. Wow, what a log jam! And it's all french fries! I don't know what that is, but it looks kind of gross. Hmm. Well, let's go to it, shall we? <laughs> well, we can't actually pass the french fry dam yet, but... What if we go over here? Boy, this is great! Look at all these different sauces! Yes, it's a condiment tree! Oh boy, ketchup! Ketchup is good on everything! Alright, what's next? This is relish, the kind you make with pickles. There's actually more than one type of relish, I didn't even realize that. I thought all relish was pickle relish, but nope. Barbecue sauce. I put this on my peas. Mom thinks I'm nuts, but it's good. Barbecue sauce is also good. Again, lots of different types. This is mayonnaise. Mom puts it in deviled eggs. Yum. I do not like mayonnaise. Ew, horseradish. This stuff is too strong for me. But yeah, some I'm not... people like it. Yeah, I don't like horseradish either. Mmm, hot sauce. And it's the extra spicy kind. Uh -oh. This one's vinegar. It tastes awful by itself, but it's good on salads and things. Really? This is teriyaki sauce. My mom likes to cook things with it. Yeah, teriyaki sauce is great. Mmm, mustard. I like mustard on my sandwiches. Oh boy, ketchup. Ketchup is good on everything. Let's try ketchup. Oh, ketchup might come in handy. <laughs> Just a bottle of ketchup. Maybe we'll meet Sam's and we can give it to him. Or alternatively, let's put him on some french fries and eat him. Jam Sam likes it a bit. You are putting way too much ketchup on these. Hey, you spicing those up? 
What are you putting on there? It's ketchup. Would you like some? Nah, thanks. They gotta have teriyaki sauce on them, or I'm just not interested. But you go ahead. <laughs> He's very polite about it. <laughs> All of the ketchup just melted off, like, magically. <laughs> How can I get my cat fries in real life to do that? I can the way I see it, you know a french fry is good if you can eat it and it's delicious without needing, like, ketchup or any sauce on it. This is teriyaki All right, we need the teriyaki sauce. sauce. You might find a use for this teriyaki sauce. I better take it. I'll put this other one back. I don't want to be greedy. That's nice, Sam. Only take one at a time. Besides, teriyaki sauce is way better. I, I'm not sure if I've ever tried teriyaki sauce on, um... On french fries. I don't think that's ever come up. I bet I'd love it, though. I love french fries and I love teriyaki sauce. Hey, what is that? Is it teriyaki sauce? Uh-huh. Oh, boy! That's like seriously the best music in the whole game right there. I love that horn. That's just a cool sequence in general. Funny and like it actually helps us progress and now we are confronted with this thing. Look at that big red squishy thing. That is the stomach of the land apparently. Well this is where we can go to the four different quadrants so let's go inside.